welcome back to Sheila Bobby Handmade. My name is Caitlin. You can find me on the internet just about anywhere as Sheila Bobby. This is my podcast or vlog or recording channel <laughs> where I talk about knitting, crochet, yarn, maybe some other crafty things in the future. But today we're going to talk about a few finished objects and a few works in progress. I am very much in the advent and Christmas knitting area of the the year so not too too much as far as working on my main progress projects <laughs> um just a note if you hear a little bit of clanking and clinking and writing my niece is in the room with me today so she is working on some um what are you working on coloring she's working on a coloring book so if you hear anything that is her working away all right so let's get started so first we're going to talk about my finished objects so i have a finished pair of socks for my sister she knows about these um so she doesn't need to to turn off the the vlog um oh also a side note if the sun keeps going in and out i apologize for the lighting i am rushing to get the vlog recorded before we have some storms here um in north carolina so the clouds are heavy. I did not think I was going to be able to record today because it was very dark and gloomy this morning, but the sun popped out for a little bit, so I rushed and got my stuff together to record. So, first finished object is the Contrast Sunkiss socks that you saw on the last episode. These are vanilla socks um, made out of super glow fiber in the colorway Sunkiss. And the mini that I use for the heel, cuff, and toes is just a random blue mini that I got from either my local yarn shop or just picked up as a mini from somewhere. So these are for my sister. It is a, let's see, 20 cuff, 20 rounds, 20 rounds for the cuff, uh, 35 rounds for the leg because she likes a little bit of a longer leg, and then everything else is from my vanilla recipe so all is good there I love how these striped on the smaller socks if you I think in the last episode I showed my completed socks which we'll talk about those in a few minutes but I talked about my finished socks and those larger um, variations it wasn't so much a stripe but anyway got two socks done so those are completed and ready to wrap for Christmas the oops i did not bring those so i'm going to post a picture here um i finished a couple more um of the ornaments or keychains that i was making <laughs> it's just two or three so i will just post a picture here and um show you the ones that i finished uh, i think i made just a couple a day after i last recorded the <laughs> ornaments are by i believe it is mayor allison um, it may be Marie. I looked it up and it was um, kind of both ways. So I'm not exactly sure which way is the correct pronunciation for her. So it might be Marie or Mare. Um, Mare Allison. It is the Christmas stocking ornaments. I followed that rec recipe. I followed that pattern, but I did um, make a few adjustments to the um, length of the cuff and the leg and the foot and all that. But other than that, it's a great um, pattern to make some sock ornaments. The last finished object that I have is multiple. Um, so these are my dishcloth that I have been working on for Christmas. So I'll show you a close-up of the dishcloth that I have completed. I have six done and my goal is to have eight um, to gift. So I'm close to that and I have the other ones in progress. So let me walk you through the yarns that I have used. I'm using a various mixture of yarns. Um, some of them are going to be Lily Sugar and Cream and I'll tell you the colorways and show you the ones that I've created with that. And then the other one is going to be out of Nick's Knit Picks Dishy. I have Twist, Multi, and Solid. Um, but I think on these that I'm working on. It's just the multi and twist. So let me walk you through the ones that I have 
finished. And this pattern that I'm using is the copycat dishcloth. Um, I should show you on a solid one so that you can actually see the pattern. Um, it's the copycat dishcloth by Michelle Krauss. And you don't do a corner to corner. I know most dishcloths go corner to corner and that's not my preferred way of knitting a dishcloth. I always have, I think it's a problem with the row because you're like the row height versus the length. And so mine are always elongated and I just, they're, they're not my favorite. So I wanted to try out this one, which just has a knit stockinette band on either side and then garter stitch for the rest of the fabric. So that is the dishcloth and I changed the, the counts um, for the length and width depending on the yarn I use because the dishy is much softer, much more um, drapier, but um, it needed less stitches than or needed more stitches than the um, Lily Sugar and Cream. So let me go through the yarns that I used. So the first one is going to be this teal color, and I believe that is what it is called. Yep. So Lily Sugar and Cream in the colorway teal. And I was able to get two out of that pack because it was a large one. So I was able to get two dishcloths and these were the first ones that I made. So this one's a little bit bigger than this one. And I was playing around with the um, pearl side on how to best do that edging. Um, Cause my slips sometimes get a little wiggly. So was testing out with the teal color but I was able to get two from that. Um, the next one that one is my work in progress so i'll save that one the next one is mango madness and that is this colorway the one after that is i think i'm missing one Oh no, this is a this is a dishy. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Um, so this is dishy twist in the colorway black. So it's just a black and white marled um, color. I was able to get two out of that. And then this one is called kitchenette in the dishy multi. And I'll be able to get two out of this one as well. So I plan to make one more out of this colorway. And so those are the ones that I have finished and that is going to lead us right into works in progress. So I'll go ahead and show you the dishcloths that I'm working on since that's what I just showed you. So the last one that I'm working on other than making another kitchenette one out of the remainder of that ball is I'm making one out of um, Lily Sugar and Cream and this one is called Rick Rack Ombre. So it's just some greens, some light blues, browns. I'm working on the main body part, of, not body part, I'm working on the main body of the dishcloth. So I will have this one finished today and then start working on the last kitchenette one. And that will be my main Christmas gifts. I have a couple other items that I'm gonna try and make, but they're just wishes and not necessarily need to have. So after I finish those, my main Christmas gifts will be done. Um, dishcloths are living in my fat squirrel bag. It is, I'm gonna try and show you without it blowing out too, too much. Just some little houses and trees on a cream background. So that is the first work in progress. The next one is going to be my Advent Granny. And you guys haven't seen this in a while. But with Advent, I've started adding more stripes into the blanket from my swap, my Advent swap that I did with um, Travel Lori on Instagram. And it's a 12 day 10 gram mini and I have added in, today is the 10th, so I've added nine. 
um, stripes so far. So I have a marker and I sewed in my ends yesterday. So the marker is the last time that you guys saw it right there and I added in a couple of colors um, before Advent started and then this stripe right here is where the Advent started going. So from that pink right there up to the top is the nine stripes so far and this is getting quite large um, but I am very excited to actually be able to use this blanket. It is nice in the winter to actually be able to um, crochet and work on it while it is also being used as a blanket so that is where I am on that and I will definitely show you once I finish the advent on um, the 12 day advent and I still have my ash and bumble one that is supposed to be in the mail hopefully that gets here before um, I think she says it starts on the 14th but I feel like that's incorrect I feel like it should start on the 13th but either way, <laughs> um, hopefully I get that in the mail and can continue working on the stripes and adding those into this blanket. But if not, I will continue to add a scrap a day. So it will continue to get a um, stripe throughout the month of December at least. So I will show you that next time and let you know how that has got on. Um, that work in progress is living in my I believe this is the Erin bag from Fat Squirrel Fibers and it just has bunnies, cats, hedgehogs. Um I think those are the only three little creatures on this one, but it holds. Let's see if I can open this and show you all of the minis that are waiting to be put in to this blanket. So after advent, there's plenty more to go into the blanket waiting in the bag. I will fold that up proper in just a moment, but let's talk about the last work in progress. So, if you remember, I made the sun kiss socks. I'll post a little snippet of it here. Made out of the same um, yellow, pink, and orange colorway. Made myself a pair that was just solid. And those were finished, ready to be taken pictures of and worn by myself. But my nephew, Levi, he really enjoyed those socks. And while I can get that colorway now um, on the 15th, um, Super Glow Fiber is doing a um, pre-order for some of her most um, loved colors. I can get another skein, but I wanted to give them to him for Christmas. So what I did is I ripped out the um, socks that I had completed for myself and recast them on for socks for my nephew. So I've completed one sock. I'll show you that now. So this is those socks re-knit. So they're a little bit wobbly stitches. Sorry it's blowing out. The sun is not going to cooperate with me today. But um, I need to block this obviously because the stitches are a little bit wobbly from the um, ramen noodle um, yarn. And then I had my niece pick out a contrast color to go with them so this is um Tilborn woolens in the perennial and i don't remember the colorway so i'll put that on the screen here but it is a 10 gram mini from that collection and so i'm just using it for the cuff just to add a little bit of pop of color for him and so i'm ready to start the second one that sock is living in my black pearl magic bag this is the one that I got a mystery bag. I ordered it for Black Friday or um, what's it called? The Shop Small, Shop Local Saturday. Um, I got that from her in 2022. So that is what this project is living in and we'll cast on the second sock. He did find out about these so he does not need to skip ahead on them. He tried them on last night. So that is going to be part of his Christmas. That is all my works in progress. I feel like I have just sped right through all of those, but there's not too much to show you because um, everything is kind of in a group and not any large projects to talk about. But let's move on to acquisitions. I only have one. I was good 
and I only have one acquisition to show you and this was a pre-order much earlier in the year so it's technically not even a recent purchase acquisition. This is the Starfall set from Red Door Fiber Studio which if I'm not mistaken that is from the Akatar series. Um, I haven't read that but my sister has and so I asked her if that was a reference to that and she said she believed it is. So it is just a green teal speckly. It's my colors. So this will likely be socks for me and my sister and it is on her bounce sock base and it is beautiful. Cannot wait to make socks out of that. That is all the acquisitions. And so that just kind of leads us to lifey stuff and I have been up to quite a few things but I'm going to link a playlist in the corner. Is it going to be that corner? It's going to be this corner. I'm going to link a playlist which is my vlogmas. I have been recording vlogmas. In fact, I'm going to wave to the vlog now. Um, I have been recording vlogmas every day but I have not been posting every day. I have been I think I have one December 1st through the 3rd and then today I'm editing the 4th through the 7th I believe and then I'll do the weekend and then continue on and I plan to do that for the entire month of December because we have some exciting plans after Christmas and so want to include that in my vlogs as well. If you want to find out what I've been doing in my everyday life Go ahead and click on that playlist and see what I have been up to. I've been opening Advents every day. Got to go in and do Advents um, with Charlie right after this. So exciting things. And yeah. So sorry it's a quick one for today. But um, I also want to thank everyone who has subscribed recently. It has brought me so much joy to see that number reach my goal of 100 and beyond. So I thank you so much. And if you are watching and you are not subscribed, it would bring me so much joy if you would click that subscribe button. Um, I cannot tell you how much it lights up my face every morning when I refresh and see that there is a new subscriber that has joined us here. So leave a like, leave a comment. Um, on what you're working on. If you're working on a Christmas gift, what type of Christmas gifts do you give? Do you give dishcloths? Do you give socks? Hats? What type of Christmas gifts do you give? And I will see you, I guess for official uh, podcast, I will see you probably after Christmas. So see you next time. Bye.